Hey everyone, just a quick update video. So Ryan Dezingle, who the Leafs just acquired in the trade from the Coyotes, he just got claimed by the Sharks. So I just want to talk about that and some other stuff that has come up over the last 24 hours. So on the Dezingle news, hey, a great career with Toronto. Great stint with Toronto. A good 24 hours. But uh, you know what? I actually was interested to see what Dezingle could have done with Toronto. Uh, obviously, he would have had to go with, through waivers and then maybe they'd call him up and give him an opportunity in the bottom six. So I was intrigued. But you know what? I do think the Sharks, at least recently, have a good track record of picking up a guy, giving him a chance, and it working out. So they did it with Barabanov. Maybe this single works out. I think he could get an opportunity with San Jose. Uh, they've had a couple holes this season, so maybe he fills one of those and uh, gets a good opportunity. I think uh, overall, and Elliot Freeman, my guy Zeta put this out on Twitter, I just saw, and I know other people are talking about it. So the Leafs still are looking for a top six potentially winger. Uh, top nine winger, even. So I think... Whether that's Kerfoot sliding down the lineup or the Leafs stretching out the lineup even more. I know they tried to stretch out the lineup, try to put Nylander on that third line. It just didn't work because Camp is just too defensive. So either they get guys to stretch it out even more or maybe they just go for an upgrade over Kerfoot. We'll see. I think Kerfoot actually recently has been playing well. Uh, I think a lot of people, including myself sometimes, like to toss in Kerfoot into these trade proposals. But I do think Kerfoot's played well recently and I do think... Uh, I like his role, so it would have to be a very big time upgrade for him to be part of the package. Um, also, I just think the Leafs Labushkin coming in. I do want to see a trade where it's either Hull or Dermott. I like Dermott uh, as a depth, as a maybe bottom pair or seventh defenseman. Uh, I've always liked Dermott, met him a couple times, good guy, but uh, at the same time, he hasn't really fit a role with this team outside of as a depth defenseman. So you either trade Dermot here or you do trade Justin Hall and get a significant upgrade. Because at this point, as I said in my last video, if Labushkin can find a good good chemistry with uh, potentially Sandine, maybe you get a guy with Muzzin or you do a scenario where Labushkin is the shutdown pair um, and then Sandine and Lilligren continue their pair together. We'll see what happens. But um, I do think with the Leafs and what Freeman said, Dubas does not want to give away top prospects. Guys like Robertson, Yamela, Nyes for rentals. He doesn't want to give away a first round pick for a rental. So when we talk about Ben Schrott, we talk about stuff like that. It would have to be a different scenario because half fans, the least fans, of course, are not going to align on uh, the idea of a trade happening between the two teams, but also on the, the value being fair. So we'll also see what happens there if the Leafs go after a defenseman again and potentially upgrade their forward group. The Sharks, we'll see what happens right now. It doesn't look like their uh, playoff team, but you know what? That Pacific Division is all over the place, so uh, I think there's a shot for any team right now to make it. So Sorry, I was shaking the phone a little bit there, but thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like. Hit the notification bell, and uh, we'll talk soon. Look out for the next video stream. I'll also be live, likely, for uh, Montreal, Toronto tonight, so there you go. Also on the topic of that. All right, guys, let's chat soon. Look out for this stream tonight, and uh, have a good day. Peace.